Today officially marks the start of the March Madness with the first games in the NCAA men's basketball tournament tipping off. Riley Holsinger tells us that not all of the madness takes place on the court. While we're a few days away from St. Patrick's Day, some people are trying to take advantage of March Madness to gamble their way towards a pot of gold. According to the American Gaming Association, 68 million Americans are expected to seek out one shining moment with their bets on this year's NCAA men's basketball tournament. March is designated as Problem Gambling Awareness Month to help people understand gambling behavior patterns and the risk that coincides with them. One of the things we always tell people is that gambling is supposed to be recreational, not a way to make money. So if you find yourself looking at this as an investment and you find yourself getting into debt, having to ask others for money because of your gambling, that's a sure sign you're headed for trouble. Another thing is, is you know, how are you communicating about this with your friends and family? Are you lying to them about how much time or money you're spending or how much you're winning? If you're doing that, that's also another sign of a problem. In West Virginia, one in every 50 adults will experience problem gambling. 1-800-GAMBLER can help addicts or loved ones through its in-person, online, or over-the-phone treatment programs. So our hope is to just uh, get our message out there as much as we can to people that if you develop a gambling problem, then you can find help here in West Virginia. If you or a loved one have a gambling addiction, 1-800-GAMBLER encourages you to contact them for help. Reporting for 12 News, I'm Riley Holsinger.